Good day beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draft a black cup mollage for your corset and bustier tops and dresses. The materials and tools you will need for this tutorial is your marker pen, your ready-made cup, your tracing wheel, and your paper stay. So you base the paper stay around the ready-made cup like the way I'm doing it. You base it on the ready-made cup like this. Then you pick another one. You overlap it so that they are on each other. So you continue on say you have basted around the whole cup. After basting the paper tape around the cup, this is what you should have. The inside of your cup should be looking like this. You can see that the paper tape is extending beyond the edges of the cup. So that's how yours should be looking like as well. The next thing you are going to do is to trace the edges of the cup. The bottom down to the top of the cup. This is how you trace it. And if you don't have a trace away, you use your pencil or your marker to do this. You can see the way I'm tracing the edges of the cup. So after tracing, you can see that what I've traced is reflecting at the other side of the cup. It's reflecting at the other side of the cup. I took my marker pen and I'm going to be drawing on that traced line to make it more visible. You can see I'm drawing the shape of the cup. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to style the cup. I'm marking 2 inches from the top edge of the cup. Now I'm doing the same on the other side. 2 inches. You can do 1.5, you can do 3, depending on the style of cup you want. So I'm going to connect the first mark point to the second mark point with a cup. I hope you can see this. My marker pen is not that visible, but I'm bringing the cup closer to the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. So this is what you should have as well if you are going to follow my own style line or you have your own you are working with. You can either leave the cup like this or 
if you want to have three joining parts you have to find the midpoint of the cup and marking at the right side so I'm also going to find the midpoint of the top edge of the cup like this so I'll mark that point as well and I will connect from the bottom of the cup back to the top edge of the cup you can see that our cup has been divided into three parts I'm blending the lines to make it more visible I label the first one as one the second one as two and the third part as three after I've labeled and marked my notch point the next thing I'm going to do is to remove the paper tape from the red mid cup When removing the paper tape from the red mid cup, please be very careful. Be very careful, gently. As you can see, our mullage has the shape of the cup. I'm going to use my scissors to cut out our mullage like this. Please be very careful and follow your draw line. I almost made a mistake at this point, so please be careful when you are cutting what you all see me doing here is that I'm marking my notch point so that when I want to join the cups together I will know which part to join which to which part now I have all my three pieces here and this is the upper one mark notch points place so that when you want to sew your life will be a whole lot easier you won't have any problem when you want to sew this piece together i took a fresh pattern paper and i'm laying my mullet pieces on the pattern paper like this and i'm going to be adding seam allowance
this is what you should have after adding the seam allowance and you can see i went ahead to add notches so that when i want to sew these pieces together it's very easy for me and also for you please make sure you add your notch points The next thing you're going to do is to cut out the patterns. Now our patterns are ready for production. And when cutting your patterns on the fabric, please make sure that you are cutting on bias. Place it like so, then you pin it down. And you can also see how I place the upper part of the cup so that they when you want to sew you have a little stretch on your fabric your fabric will be a little bit stretchy and that is very good when you are making a corset if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and share you are free to share this video as well and if you have any tutorial requests please don't be shy leave a comment in the comment section we are here to work as a team so just leave a comment i will see it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that when you when i upload a new video you'll be notified okay please click on the subscription button and also on the notification bell and last last don't forget to give this video a thumb up please like please like my video please like my video like and share thank you have a nice day bye